So the countdown is on folks, just two days left to Easter and today I'm going to take a little look at two products coming at you. Reese PC's eggs and mini robin's eggs. What's it all about? I'll tell you next. Right, folks, back once again with another product review. We're not going to look at one, but two today. We'll get to them in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Bath and Rose related, product review related, football, whatever comes back related, boys and girls. That's right. Two days to go, two products today. Let's take a closer look at them, of course. Yes, we are going to look at Reese Pieces eggs. Nice and easy, that one. And then we're going to check out these mini Robin eggs, which are made by the boys. Uh, whoppers, yes, interesting. So we're going to look at the, the boring one first, which is Risi Pieces eggs. Now I believe these are going to taste similar to those Cadbury uh, chocolate mini egg type things. Not the not the Cadbury cream eggs, but the Cadbury mini eggs. Got hard hard contents inside, crispy on the outside, that sort of stuff. So these are. Uh, available in various sort of packagings, but we've got them for the old milkshake little bad boy. So these are nice, short, and sweet. Maybe for a buck or something like that, you might get a few eggs in there. 140 calories for nine pieces. Let's pop it open and have a little gander at it, shall we? We're just going to try the one right here, right now. We'll, t we'll try some more at the end of it. But we're going to open this sucker up as I do, and uh, like a little milk jug, we will pour one out for you. There she plops. Yellow. It's actually in, in various colors, you can see, and you again, you'll see them shortly in a little bit. So there they are in all their colors. We are trying the yellow bear boy out. So what I believe is a hard, hard crunchy shell. It says it on the package, hard crunchy shell with a peanut butter filling in the middle candy. Now, will it be smooth? Will it be, will it be rock hard? We'll find out uh, right now, right now. So I, I've bitten the head off. Well, and dropped it all over the place. And it is, of course, peanut buttery, but the center is pretty hard. It's pretty, pretty solid. It ain't no smooth. It's not like inside, like inside of a Reese PC, it's, uh, there's, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It feels a lot softer than this. This is a lot harder. Um, but uh, again, it tastes like an m and Tastes like an m and uh, but without the peanut, with, 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 with more of a peanut butter, uh, middle to the bad boy. So it's pretty good. You know, it was a yellow. And just for argument's sake, we'll try a pink just to see if there's any taste difference whatsoever. No, it's just the same. So, M&M without the peanut, without the chocolate, with peanuts uh, in the middle. In fact, I think you could probably even get peanut butter M&Ms and they would taste pretty much just like this. Maybe these are slightly bigger um, for things. But we'll have a close look at them, at these guys, in a minute. Uh, we're going to plow on now and take a little look at the mini Robin eggs. Now, what's the fuss about these bad boys? Now, they taste, supposed to taste like Whoppers. Now, Whoppers are equivalent to Maltesers. You know, they've got that malty kind of texture in the middle there. Um, Again, similar deal. We're coming in. We're coming in uh, another one dollar uh, milk cup carton type of job. We're going to pour one of these bad boys out for you again. Oh, there we go. Let's get a couple out there. Maybe a different color. There, pink. Pink to make the boys wink. Yep. So we're going with two of these bad boys now. Yeah, made by the company uh, Whoppers, which is a malted milk kind of thing, like Maltesers. Now. Not gonna lie to you, I have had uh, Whoppers over here and they are a very, very poor, poor representation of Maltesers. It's so much so that the, the, the Brits or somebody behind them did release Maltesers out over here to kind of duke it out with Whoppers. It's just something funky about the taste. So we're gonna see if these are still along those lines or if they're much better tasting because it doesn't have the old milk chocolate on the outer. So this might be a little bit better. Again, it's supposed to be in the shape of an egg, but it's more a shape of a peanut. So here are we go. And wait, before we crack on, calories on this sucker per serving, 140 calories, 18 pieces makes up a serving. As for the Reese pieces, nine pieces make up a serving, 140 calories. So you'll get more quantity for these bad boys for calories. So here we go. Mmm, mmm, eh, uh, mmm, no. It is bad. 
It is bad. I was hoping, I was hoping, I was optimistic that it would taste. I, I initially, it was okay. And then I, I kept eating it. It sucks. We're gonna go have another one though. That was white. Second one is not that bad. The first one, maybe because I was expecting it to taste like what, um, Maltesers. So it's got that, the main, the main bit about Maltesers. So it's like, it's like a Malteser, but it's just a poor, poor man's version. Poor man's version. If you can buy Maltesers at the store, go for the Maltesers. If you can't and you want that kind of thing, then the mini eggs or the Whoppers are your way to go. Now, we're gonna do something special. Let's go. So next up, it's time for the Reese PCs F1 Grand Prix. Coming at you, let's go. I got three, I got three. So after that poor showing in the Reese Pieces F1 race, now it's time to do the same with these puppies. Can I do better? We'll have a look. Okay, so the Whoppers may have tasted the worst between the two candies, but they performed better in the F1 Grand Prix. Overall though, who is your winner or who is my winner? Well, I'm still sticking with the old Reese pieces purely because of the peanut butter, baby. Well, there you have it, folks. That's pretty much all I've got for you today as the Easter countdown comes to, draws to a close. We've got one more to go tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take a look at something more marshmallowy. We'll have a look at, in fact, it'll be a double, double header tomorrow. So make sure you check that sucker out uh, tomorrow. And then we'll be back to normal after Easter, two a week. Uh, I've already got them lined up for you, so they'll be, uh, and there'll be, you know, some real interesting stuff. Less of the candy, more of the savoury that's coming at you. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if I had to choose between the two, I would go with, of course, I'd go with the Reese Pieces peanut butter things, even though they're also a cheap knockoff, possibly of M and M's. But I was, I would, my wife told me that these bad boys have been around a while, but they've been around a long time, though, right? They're not chocolate. No, but they've been around a long time, though, right? Reese Pieces. Yeah. 40 years, Reese's Pieces has been longer for 40 years. 40 years, people. Anyway, uh, be sure to give this video some love and smash the old thumbs up, and of course, smash the old subscribe. Again, back tomorrow with another Easter bonanza uh, as we look forward to Easter itself on Sunday. Got to do a, a, a quarantine Easter egg hunt within the house. It's going to be fun. Ciao. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>